All right, now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was a rough buy. <laughs> so one day, I'm just strolling along online, you know, minding my own business, and all of a sudden, I see J-List, and I'm like, oh, J-List, okay, I know J-List, I like J-List. Let's go on there for more of my manga buys. What else can I add to my shelf that I've already been building up for so long? And I stumbled across uh, this, which I cannot show on uh, YouTube. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna, hold on, I got some editing to make right quick. All right, so. Uh, we fixed it. Now we're YouTube available now. We're YouTube ready for, uh, this video is not YouTube ready. So I ended up buying and purchasing this, uh, the dojin of, um, for $20, by, mind you, of, uh, Shindo L's Metamorphosis. So I haven't read Metamorphosis in a while. You know what? I remember it being very impactful. It's definitely impactful on the community. So I'm going to go ahead and just buy it and put it for my shelf. And it's hard to find people who haven't really heard of Metamorphosis. And after buying it and getting it to my house and putting it on my shelf and actually going through and rereading um, the chapters, this has to be said. This is one of the uh, most fucked up, impactful dojins I have ever read in my entire life. And this is a guy who has read a bunch of Edoge, Edogura, Gura? Edogoto for the sake of a video. My first time ever reading Metamorphosis was, uh, it was one of those things where I was going to expect, oh, you know, not my proudest fap. But slowly through the course of reading through the chapters of this, of this book, I got to see Saki be th more invested in um, her life and the more spiraling down that she had to go through, where the whole world just kept dealing her bad cards and the spiral of just out of control she had to go, uh, just had to go through because all the people in her life just would not help her and or push her in the wrong direction and due to her inevitable end because of the cruel cruel world and I come to realize yeah it wasn't my proudest fap with Saki you get this girl who wants to uh she's starting her youthful year she wants to look prettier she wants to impress the boys she wants to have friends and make you know all sorts of other friends and she wants to make herself look pretty more adult and she's basically doing like every other youthful girl should do Anybody her age would be the same way. But slowly and surely, she goes down the wrong path, the path that she has to go down because of all the people around her. Uh, she first introduced and loses her virginity to this piece of shit guy that drugs her and then kind of forces her to do other things and then she starts seeing other ways of doing things and starts getting more um, slutty and through that gets blackmailed multiple times. And you think that maybe she'd be able to go to somebody for this, but she can't even do that because of her father. Oh God, I forgot about the father. Ugly bastard. I'm sorry, I can't help but think about it. Oh my God. Probably one of the worst ugly bastards in this series. Like, hold on a minute. Yeah, I can't show any of this, okay. <laughs> And it doesn't stop there. We see her in what we think is the most fucked up she's ever going to be in. And the most like down she's ever going to be in. Somehow, in some way, this story just elevates that and makes it even more fucked up. Just when you think that Saki is at her lowest of the low, it just gets worse. Reading the final parts of this manga and the inevitable end that I know what was going to happen, uh, it just made me feel so bad for Saki. And also on top of reading it, I felt so uncomfortable with things I was reading and I figured out why. Not only because it was just uncomfortable, but because of how realistic it was. And from what I understand, the creator of Metamorphosis said, you know, this wasn't supposed to be uh, something to be created to get off on. It was something more along the lines of something that people can see and realize that this actually happens in real life. There are young women out there that get turned down the wrong path like Saki did and has to be forced to do other things because they have nowhere else to go. All because of something that started that snowballed out of control. Like for Saki, the guy who got her addicted to drugs and sex. Things that a bunch of men will do in this manga just for that... They'll ruin a girl's life just for that split second high of sex or whatever the hell. This manga has to deal with things like sex, drug addiction, rape, uh, being fucked by old homeless men. Oh my god, I forgot about the homeless men scene. That was fucked up in and of itself. And if you haven't read Metamorphosis, I don't know if I'm stressing how fucked up this is. Like, mentally. Mentally, it messed with me because, like I said, this shit happens on a real basis there are people out there having to live not maybe this too extreme but certain parts of this life they have to go through through the selfishness of others and i don't think i'm like selling the point of how bad it is. I, I i encourage if you really need something impactful that is uh, a dojin that you know will change your life forever there's a point 
in your life where you either read Metamorphosis and then you don't read Metamorphosis. And then if you're somewhere in the middle where you just don't care or you think it was, uh, you know, oh, it wasn't that bad. Either you have no soul, you have no heart, or maybe you just don't like it. That's fine, I guess. Or you're just pretending to be, you know, elitist, you elitist pricks. But if you have a heart or a conscience or something, there's at some point in this manga, you're going to feel bad for Saki. You're going to sit here and want, just you just want to give this poor girl a hug. I don't like reading or watching things that make me feel uncomfortable. Like, I'll watch a horror movie any day of the week, that's fine. But if you give me something realistic that actually happens, that I can see something happening to somebody I know, like Metamorphosis, uh, then yeah, it's going to fuck with me mentally. I guess you could really say it's a mind break. No? Okay. Got it. Way to go, Dakota. A little insensitive. But the reason why I always keep going back to Metamorphosis and why I'm happy I bought it and I can go back and read it is not only, yes, it makes me feel uncomfortable. Yes, I don't like it that much. But at the same time, something like normal manga and doujins and other materials of art and written things don't get me moved. And this always will get me moved because I always will feel bad for the character and I just am emotionally attached to Saki and I feel bad for her. And it's not my proudest fap. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, was, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Now for buying the book itself, I'm actually really happy I bought this thing because it's a nice shelf piece because, well, I mean, if somebody walks into my office while I'm gone and, you know, picks this up and goes, what? Father? Daughter? No! Whoa, this girl is in a fuck- Wait, who's that? What scene is this? Whoa, homegirl's pregnant in a, in, a, in, a, in a train station somewhere and getting bottles shoved up of her fucking vagina? What are you having in your office, Dakota? Do we need to have a conversation? To which I will say, how dare you? This is Saki we're talking about. She's been through enough. But to be fair, for $20, you actually get a large... This is a big story, right? There's a lot of chapters, a lot of spiral... There's a lot of shit that's fucked up, and it, it, it's, it's a lot. Um, and for the I actual, like, there's a, there's a cover on it that I can't show because that is, uh, titty. But there's this nice little, um... Oh, no way! That's so cool! I just realized this. On the, uh, actual soft cover, you'll see the duality of the change of Saki in full color. What's the back do? But it kind of gives homage to like, you know, um, some Japanese manga that will do that. They will uh, put a soft cover and then a really cool manga page on, on the actual cover of it. Nice little quality paper, big thin, everything's great. It's, it's a solid buy if you are, I wouldn't say, a, well, I guess I'm a fan of it because I love the impact it has on um, just life in general. Uh, but I think if you want it for yourself, I mean, Go, if you want metamorphosis on your shelf, nobody's gonna fucking doubt you. We know, we understand. And if I go over to your house and we're hanging out and I see this on the on the, um, on the the bookshelf, I'm just gonna be like, man, I understand. All in all though, what do you guys think about metamorphosis? What's your, uh, what's your feelings towards it? What's your life? What do you, what do you, what do you get out of this? What did you take from metamorphosis? Why do you either reread it every now and then or what what made you impactful for the first time reading it? I'd love to know your comments and your thoughts on this impactful series that really shows just how messed up the world can be. Like I said, I bought this on J-List. You could probably go get it there yourself. Uh, or did I get it off of eBay? Amazon. I got it off of Amazon that was based off of Playlist. There we go. But yeah, I don't regret this purchase, and I and sometimes I go back and reread it uh, every once a year or so, just to kind of remind myself of this piece of uh, literature. With that being said, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, like the video, comment what I said earlier, and then uh, yeah, any questions you have down below, let me know. Link for this will be in the description. Uh, with that being said, thank you for listening to my thoughts on Metamorphosis. I've been meaning to do a Metamorphosis video for a while. Um, and although I don't think I've said in depth everything I needed to say, I bought this and I just wanted to talk about it for a little bit. So with that being said, take it easy, guys. And bye-bye. Shinpaku. Johnny. I'm the Anime Zone, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm trying to impersonate everybody I do. What's Nux's outro? Remember to stay weird, fam. Um, what does Sydney say? Alright, bye, bye! Bye, 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 you fucking sluts, bye!